Lindelof videos, copying and saving documents to your TI Inspire cast. Here's a starting point because I'm getting a lot of uh, questions from people and comments. You have to start from your TI software. So you have to start in the software. If you're saying what software, here are my two answers to you. One, when you bought the calculator, didn't it come with a CD? And that software is on that CD and you can download it and that's what you want. Because what you want to do is you want to copy the you want to go to the internet, copy the information off the internet, save it onto your software, and then when you save it onto your software, it automatically creates this TNS file, which is the error that people keep telling me about. And then you can transfer that document from your software to your handheld. So that's the kind of the trick here. So this is what I'm going to do, just to show you how I'm going to do this. I'm just going to start doing this this way. Again, I'm on my computer my handheld is it is should be attached to it it's not but my handheld should be attached to it so this is all I'm gonna do from my laptop I'm gonna go to the internet but first off I guess I'm gonna do this I'm gonna insert whoops that's not what I want sorry what I want to do from up here is insert notes Right? So I'm going to insert notes. I'm just giving myself a place to go to. There's lots of ways to do this, but this is what I'm going to do. So what I did was I already went to the Internet. So here's my Internet, and I looked, and I'm like, okay, I would, I would like to have a copy of the unit circle, an image of the unit circle on my handheld. So I'm going to create that for myself. So I'm just going to go to that. I'm going to right-click on that. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to copy it. It really is this easy. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go back to my software on the computer. All I did was right-click there, hit paste. There it is, right? Now you may say, how does that help me? Well, now you can go to document. If you go to document here, you can. Mm, 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 mm. File. And you can save, save as. Save it as something. Then you can send that when your handheld is connected to your laptop. You can send that over. See, it says send right here. The reason I can't send it, the reason I can't get to this right here, is because I don't have anything hooked onto my computer. But if I had the USB hooked to the computer and then to the to my handheld, it would see it and it would have that as a destination that I could send it to. All right. Here's the other thing I really want you to know. This is really really important. When you're doing this stuff, there's tons of ways to do it. So you're like, okay, I have this, I have this right here, and I want to copy and paste that. So I go to the internet, I do that. Look, I went through and I. Forgive me, but let me see if I can find other crap that I put on there. Okay, I just went and found a picture of Justin Bieber. I just copied the picture in the same way that I copied that picture of the unit circle. Might be funny to do to your buddy and put it as his screensaver for his, for his calculator like it is for mine right this second. It won't be, but you could make it your screensaver. Or I came up with the, the cracked, uh, with the cracked screen uh, gag. So there's tons of stuff you can do. Most of it should be more productive, I guess. All right, so... Let's go back through this one more time just to get what's important about this. When you're doing this, let me get away from that picture because I'm going to make myself make my stomach hurt. What's most important is this, that you start at your TI software. You, I'm in my software. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this to my software. Why am I going to save it to my software? Because it will, when I save it to my software, it will automatically create a .tns file. And that's what your handheld recognizes. It's the easiest thing to send over to your handheld. You could do the same thing. You could, you could write something. You could type out some notes into Microsoft Word or whatever you use. You could copy and paste that, right? Not say, send it over as a document, but I would just copy and paste it so it shows up as an image here. And then save, save it to your software. From your software, remember, if you go to Documents, it has Send, and you can send it over. Because that seems to be the big thing that everybody's talking about is that they have this TNS. It's saying it doesn't recognize this thing because there's no TNS file. You create your TNS file by being in – here, I'm in the – you can see up at the top here. I'm in Document 2, TI InspireCast, and I'm in this teacher software because that's the one that they happen to have given me uh, at Texas Instruments. But it doesn't have to be that. It will all do the same thing. All right? If you have any problems with this, just um, – Send me a comment, and let me see if, if I can help you. This is very, very doable, and I don't want you to give up on it, because if you're taking an exam, a lot of this stuff you're allowed to use on the exam.
Um, here it is. This is just another stupid picture that I came up with. That I typed onto the computer integral sign. So there's the integral sign. And this is the other thing I want you to know about this. That you can actually grab this thing here. Let me see if I can find a way to grab this thing here. You can grab it here and resize it and make it fit onto your screen the, the way that you want it. So there's tons you can do. This is a really, really uh, good thing to learn how to do. And some people, I hear you're becoming a little bit frustrated. So please don't give up. I promise I'm going to help you my very, very best to help you through this. Um, so when you sit down for these exams that you're able to do stuff, um, try to focus on the most appropriate uses of it first, and then we'll go to the gags later, I guess. All right? Look, I hope this was really helpful, you guys. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. If you have comments, let me hear from you. Thanks.